the Norwich Bovines, the Baffled Bovines, who will soon pick a winner of our Meadow Muffin Contest. There have been 235 plots sold. Thank you to all of you who bought a plot, which means that at $20 each, our take was $4,700, which means that the first prize will be $470, a good a return on your investment of a 1 in 235 chance to win. And the second prize, which is a 1 in 234 chance to win, will be $235. So I can feel the palpable excitement building uh, as we're about to commence some uh, ceremony. I am going to first thank and present a certificate to the uh, agricultural members of our community who brought the the bovines with us. This is uh, Chet Miller and Kenny who's assisting him. And to them, I'm, I'm going to present a di diploma and some uh, cards of thanks because usually they get lost in the shuffle at the end of the proceeding. So <laughs> thank you, guys. This is for you. Thank you. <laughs> All right. So the next order of business. And I'm going to call on uh, the president of the Norwich Lions Club to assist in this process. And she is going to render the oath of office to our three judges. And each of you can come up and get your uh, top hat. So it designates your august sta status. Come, please put a hat on. And after you've done that, pick up an oath of office. <laughs> All right, here's your oath of office and your oath of office. And on this table, there will be some certificates for you to pick up at the end so you can find your name. So uh, the president of the Norwich Lions Club, Cheryl Brush, is about to render the oath of office to our distinguished judges. And she will uh, have you uh, just say I do at the end of her uh, reading of the. <laughs> OK. Are we ready? I do solemnly swear that I will follow the rules of the plot, be impartial to all parties, apply my best judgment, listen to my peers, and respect the advice of experts. Do you all agree to do that? Thank you. We, we knew you could. <laughs> and so I will signal. And so what is going to happen is that each of these squares is, has a randomized number on it. But since we did not sell them the deeds, there's a break in the number in the deeds. So each deed has a rank that corresponds to this number. So the number that happens here is not your deed number, but the deed numbers behind uh, this sheet, which you can look at uh, when the cattle make their august decision. So uh, Chuck, you may bring on the uh, drum roll. Here we go. Do it up for Chuck and Kenny. So I have to uh, explain that these cattle have been bred specially. Uh, they, have, they, they were actually test tube bred uh, because certain contests like this, chat spirit, and uh, finding the highest uh, quality of genetic stock to bring out before you. And each actually has passed to prove that they're not afraid of squares, that they know how to cooperate in the, this elaborate process, and that they, their results will be conclusive, not just ambiguous, because we don't have ambiguous results. And so here comes a bovine number one. Here she comes. Here she comes. She, she does. She's a Hereford. There's going to be three, one at a time. <laughs> Chet, what is her name? Scarlet. This is Scarlet coming out. Yay, Scarlet! All right. Okay, I need I need two judges along the side and one judge here. So. Okay, so one of you goes down there. Thank you. So everybody, all eyes on Scarlet to see 
if she's going to do anything. Um, so, Kenny, who is this? Mel. Here comes Mel. Give it up for Mel. And the last but not least. Una. Oh, say her name again. Una. Una. Give it up for Una. So we have. All right. They're just looking you over to see whether you're worth the effort. They have to do some uh, careful calculations in their minds. And so they're not part of it. Well, that's a little bit of friskiness. We like friskiness. They, they look a little starstruck because when they were doing their uh, run through rehearsals, uh, they didn't have a crowd here. So next year we'll put up a photographic uh, representations of crowds so they'll not be spooked by us. That's true. All right. There's some friskiness. We like to see friskiness. Friskiness leads to poopiness, and poopiness is what we're looking for. All right. Now there seems to be a gathering of cattle with any of us who is particularly salty may have attracted them in this direction. And those of you who think that corners have no chances, you, d you can see that there's cattle do go to corners. So everybody here has an equal chance. Now, it's perfectly OK if you found where your square is for you to try to lure the cattle in your direction. <laughs> so if anything you can think of, like hold up a blade of grass, and maybe they'll come to you. You never know. Apples would be better. Apples would be better. All right, well, look at, there's some independent thinking going on. Oh, no, now they're following. You never know what's going to happen. Just play by play. <laughs> play, by play. Okay, now, ladies and gentlemen, they've gone to the other fence just to demonstrate the complete impartiality of this contest of chance. And so those of you who thought they'd never come to your side of the fence, you can now see that we have trained them to be co totally impartial. In fact, now they're uh, checking out the far corner because corners have a better chance than you would imagine. I know. So does anybody know a song that might elicit uh, cow poop? Get along, little doggies. So, Farmer Chet, did they poop in the van? And uh, one of them did on the, in the crossing the road. Okay, so uh, one of them may have done a practice poop before they got here, but otherwise, they're, they're primed. Can you give them some carrot tops, Chet? <laughs> All right, well, you know, <laughs> they're, they're going for the lady in pink now. They're mistaking her for a pomegranate. <laughs> so clearly, uh, all right, guys, are you uh, getting the idea? <laughs> Everybody's rooting for Luna. Hey, there we go. Wow. All right. So now, what row is, what number row? That's nine. All right. And what letter was that? That was N9. I'm going to. M as in Mike 9. I'm going to put down M9. 9, nine M11. One, one. Okay. All right. Okay, somebody just won $470. If we don't know which, it'll be revealed as soon as the next lucky winner is determined. But now we know that the cows have it in them to do what needs to be done, which is very important. We may not have to resort to, to picking numbers out of a hat, of which we have four. 
All right, girls, what will it be? Are you looking for grass? Uh, okay, so. Okay, well. Let's see here. So, there's Luna, there's Mal, I forget the third one. Scarlet. Okay, I want to show of hands. Who thinks that Scarlet is going to be the next one? Uh, well, Scarlet just did it. Okay, who thinks that Luna is going to be the next one? All right, we have people waiting. And how about Mal? Does Mal think that Mal is going to be the next one? Yes. <laughs> Mal thinks that Mal is going to be the next one. Okay, time. Okay, girls, the clock is running out. You got to keep uh, keep doing your thing. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay, girls, you know, it's, uh, we'll have to pay you overtime if you take too long. We don't want that. Are you trying to? Yeah. <laughs> that was great fun. I didn't have to go. <laughs> Good to see you. Okay, girls, let's talk it over and decide which of you is going to produce the results. We have about uh, four or five minutes left on the clock before the audience decides whether it, your job is done or not. The tension is palpable. The suspense is rising, and people are falling asleep. <laughs> which, which the number? This way. Uh, that was. One, two, three, four. It was M four. M four. And M. So the, there's a M four is one eighty six, which is not. Is, that's not the number. One eighty six is the rank of the number. So let's see if I can see what 186 is. 186 is, it is number 252. <laughs> not, <me. laughs> not you. <laughs> but you had a good shot, and it's not over yet. You could went get second. I'm second about place. to go massage that little behind. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, baby. Well, Come on, baby. Okay, girls, uh, the clock is ticking away. <laughs> All right, girls, you got your pre-event briefing, didn't you? There, 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 there's some. Come on. <laughs> we put it right here, and then the cow's butt will be right here when it walks over. Oh. So on. have you figured out which plot is yours? Because not, really. not quite as simple. So, do, uh, the, everybody's name is on this, and each square has a number that uh, is on here. So if your name was, uh, if your name was Virginia Stone, which I know it's not, you go over here and see it's number 41. <laughs> and then you find 41 on here. I think this one's mine. Oh, okay. Well, your chances are pretty good because they've been next to the fence a lot. Call it over or no? Oh, yes. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Um, oh, the first 15 minutes of play have occurred. So hands up if you'd like it to keep on going. Yeah. yeah. I, I'd like it to keep on going. Uh, the, the halter just, that's fine. They'll, they'll fix that. Oh. 
Okay, we're getting some uh, in inspirational fodder. some carrot tops. There we go. All right. Well, you took the food, so it's time for you to do the thing. Well, that uh, uh, doesn't mean she can't do it again. Let's do it to a different cow now because she already had she already had hers. Oopsies. Okay. <laughs> All right. He's just. All right, throw that. Scarlet's probably going to win. Well, she already did win. Yeah. Oh, come here. Come here. Luna. There we go. Okay. You want to lead? Okay. All right, folks, I see what's going on here. There's some bystanders are assaulting the, the field with food near the edge, which may inspire the cow to hang out near the edge and improve the chances of those whose squares are on the edge. Now, if you want to complain to the uh, panel of judges, now's your time to do it. <laughs> it might be your square near the edge, and you should be happy with it. Ah. All right, we mustn't get complacent. Uh, something important might happen at any moment. On the other hand, it might not. <laughs> I even I held a baby one. chick before. Oh, so you say that again? Um, I seen a cow before, and I even um, held a baby chick. Oh, well, that's that's I great. I work on farms. I, I know you've seen lots of cows in your yeah. day. <laughs> in my life. Yeah. I was going. I was. I was going with my dad since I was a baby. My goodness! So you've been coming here t to the Meadow Muffins contest s since you were a baby. No. no, not that. So you've just been, uh, I've been, on a farm. been on a farm since you were a baby. Scarlet! What are you doing, Lula? Scarlet! It's not time to go home until it's time to go home. We need a little more productivity out of you girls. All right, you baffled bovines, let's, uh, let's do the thing. It's actually only been five minutes since I uh, asked for a show of hands. <laughs> it seems like hours. <laughs> It was. 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 It
Oh, oh, I'm sorry. That doesn't count, unfortunately. So welcome to our Meadow Muffins contest. You can see the, the young cows out there who are deciding who's going to win. They've already decided who's going to win $470, so now it's $235 is, is a potential winner. There has been one poop on M4. Our grid has a letter, and each grid has a number going the other way. So here, here's how you figure out what, what one is yours. The first thing you do is find your name on this list. And then if you found your name, this is the rank order which appears on this grid, which has been randomized. Unless you see a pattern in that. Okay. <laughs> Looks sufficiently randomized. <laughs> Bruce, can you whistle? Whistle! I don't know how to whistle. Uh, Talk cow. Let's all talk cow. Uh, 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 uh. There we go. A talking cow. Speech is more important than food. We can, we can conclude that. Ah, ah, ah. Ah. Thank you for your patience. Are you having a good enough time? Yes. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> I'm going to shut it down at half past so that if they don't produce, people can go home. Do you know how? how so, what, what are you saying right now? I'm saying, come here. And, and, uh, do you know how to say poop and cow? It sounds like this. <laughs> I know most of the time they probably say food. So that, that's true. Cows eat eight hours a day. That's true. And then you, how you say food is. No. No. How you say food is. Oh, okay. Did that's pronounced that? Okay. Did that I say? don't really have like the voice to do it. Okay, but well, you're pretty good. You called some of those cows over, so they figured you out. Okay, folks, we have. S thank you for coming. Thank you. <laughs> we have six minutes left, and then we'll just draw the number two out of the hat. So, you guys, did you hear that? Ah. Ah. <laughs> I know I do a really good cat voice. Well, let's hear it. Ow. Ow. I've never he heard a calf, calf voice like that. Are you talking about a cat or a calf? Cat. Oh, cat. Well. And I also have a perfect, well, not a perfect, but good. <laughs> All right, girls, you have four minutes. Four minutes to determine the second place winner before we draw numbers out of a hat. 
I'm walking towards my numbers. It's for you to do what you need to do, or else I'm going to get out the numbers. Don't make me get out the numbers. Sometimes when I've gotten out the numbers, they pooped after I declared the number. So we want you girls to not let that happen. I'm getting closer to the numbers. That's true, you're right. They squat and they... Uh, I'm even closer to the numbers than I was before. I got numbers in here. I should see that and they're going to poop. Thank you. Okay, girls, we have three minutes and 15 seconds. Three minutes and 15 seconds. You're going to go on overtime if I have to pull the numbers. Welcome, guys. Does grazing stimulate them going? Oh, uh, well, one went while being loaded, but the other two didn't. The Hereford uh, uh, pooped. Uh, has been the only productive member of the uh, collection. I've never seen that before. Never seen the behavior before? Well, the grazing on and these. And these, yeah. All right, girls, you got two minutes and 15 seconds. Two minutes and 15 seconds to get inspired. <laughs> All right, it's time to determine the second place winner. To, uh, we have one minute and 45 seconds. One minute and 45 seconds. <laughs> All right, counting down. We're down to one minute and 30 seconds. <laughs> one minute and 15 seconds. Coming down to the wire. It's, it's carrot, carrot tops. They don't like it. I don't know. I, I thought they would. Okay, it's under a minute. Uh, 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 yes. Uh. <laughs> okay, we have 30 seconds left before the numbers come out of the hat. Three zero seconds. We're counting down. We have fifteen seconds. I don't think that works, but it's a good try. I'll jump that. All right. It is now half an hour into the contest. We're going to go to the numbers. I would like to, the judges to come to the uh, events table. I need you, both the judges and their hats, please. Okay, gang, here's the procedure. I'm going to have the tallest judge do the scrambling of the numbers and picking out the numbers, but the two other judges 
then if you present your hat, I'm going to put num numbers into your hat, and the tallest judge can scramble those up, and I'm going to put letters into your hat, and the tallest judge can scramble them up. And then you're going to, after you scramble them, we're going to pick one of each from uh, one something, one item from each hat. So scramble. That's right. Now let's pick something from each. Me or them? You, you. No, it's you. Okay. <laughs> we, our <coughs> impartial judge has picked 0, 015. So the number two person is 0, 015. That, and I will uh, write that down and then, at least I, I can find a pen. Wouldn't it be oh. 015? Uh, I'm sorry, 015. Uh, the, the senior judge has uh, corrected my uh, mis misinformation, so it's 2015. Uh, there is no 15. Pick a different number. <laughs> Wait a minute, I got 15. <laughs> what? What? We, we need to have the number hat. There is a nine. Of course, this could be a six. Uh, Another nine. Zero nine? Zero nine. Was, it was presented to me as a nine, so that's what it's going to be. So we have zero nine. That's me. Oh, my oh, no, God. Oh, no, 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 we don't know yet. So it's zero nine. Okay, so we have 148. So now this, I have to look up uh, zero nine. Nine is number ninety-six, and number ninety-six is Ruth Dixon Vestal. That's me. Yay. How did you do that? I didn't know that. Thank you. Uh, huh? Was that just a random guess? Yeah. On your well, part, you it actually, all well, the, well, number, the numbers. Are the numbers up to ninety-one correspond with the randomized oh. numbers. After ninety-one, they start at one sixty-one. So, the so I will announce who M. Oh, M. Yeah, let's see. That was M M nine. M nine. M nine was one forty one, and one forty one is Patricia Spellman is is won the first prize, mm -hmm. and so we will send you a check. Okay. And. Uh, I'm uh, the glory of winning has. I mean to tell uh, you. you, you. I'm fantastic. I'm beyond. So, how do you try, um, correspond these with the lot number? Because each lot number has a rank. Down to 91, they correspond. Okay. But after 91, they so don't. So, if somebody had 0, 1, what was the first number you called? 1, 5? Uh, it, was, it was M. Nine. The first one. The first 15. one. Fifteen. So that I mean not the first one, the, the one that you just called. Oh, no, there is no fifteen. But he has zero fifteen as a D. But that's okay, so it's that's immaterial. That's just a D number, right? Yeah, so that's a D number. So because there was a break in the the not the D actually so it was a so number uh the up to 91, the deeds corresponded. Or, let's see, up to, yeah, up to 94, the deeds correspond with the numbers. But since there was a break in the deed numbers, we, it's all very confusing.